Hello, Melissa Kelsch here with Real Brokers Red Rock. And I have Nate Hampton with Hampton Home Loans with me today. We are going to talk about how to become a real estate investor. We have three ideas for you, maybe a few more, because we were talking about a few yeah. others. Yeah. Let's start with the first one that we have, um, duplex, a duplex, a fourplex, and stuff like that. Because I have a lot of um, younger couples trying to get into real estate and trying to be an investor, so we're, we're trying to do the same all together. So yeah. with a duplex, they can move in and live in one side and rent out the other and hopefully make it so it pays for itself or have a lower payment. But how does that work for lending? Yeah, absolutely. You touched on something that's you know very, very dear to my heart because right now you have a lot of young couples that want to buy homes and they're just like, I've been priced out of the market, right? We've seen yes. the house values go up 100K in a year and what they're like, we're gonna buy a home, we're saving up for down payment. I've had many, many new families, you know, they've been saving up for down payment to buy their first house, but it just keeps running away from them. And now they don't make enough income to buy a house, right? So that's that's been very sad to see is first time home buyers not being able to get into a home. And yes. so we've found a way for them to actually not only get a home, but start creating wealth right out the gate. So. Um, they can actually buy, like you said, a two-plex, triplex, or a four-plex using FHA loan. And this requires as little as 3.5% down. So you can get into a home with 3.5% down and then have two or three other people making your house payment for you. So instead of trying to qualify for a $2,500 house payment, now you have to qualify for like three or $400 a month or something yes. like that. So super awesome. And so, okay, so that's one way to do it. Another one is to be able to find a home that has an auxiliary building or have enough money to build an auxiliary building on the property if it's zoned properly. And an auxiliary building would mean something like you have, you're building a garage and you're going to have an apartment above it. And I know a lot of uh, communities are allowing that these days. So what about that kind of loan? Yep. Those loans are great because we get to just do regular traditional financing uh, anywhere from three to five percent down is the minimum. Um, there are areas in certain type of loan products where you could even do up to a hundred percent financing on something like that. Okay. But what's cool about those types of loans or even in that scenario is you know like you said that's maybe maybe your mom is aging but she has income or want you want her to live with you but not with you right <laughs> <laughs> so she's there um, we can actually put her on the loan too so again it's running into that same situation where we can't qualify for half a million dollars on our own you can actually add your mom to the loan to qualify that's great and that's a great segue into multi-generational living I'm seeing that more and more these days and higher requests for uh, double masters or a casita that has a mother-in-law or father-in-law quarters. So they have their own little space. They can feel independent, but they're still nearby. Yeah. And so that's in high demand right now. And then once maybe another family member takes them on or they pass away, then you have that extra space that you can rent it out to cute young couples that need a place and just getting married and getting started or you right. have family that needs a place or there's so many options when it's Absolutely. that way. I love the idea you came up with yesterday where a new couple buys a house with the casita and then they live in the casita and then rent the house for like three thousand dollars and then as their family grows they move into the house and either move those guys in the casita or get new renters that was a pretty good idea oh thanks thanks for helping me remember that because th that is that's another strategy to start investing in real estate and get your own home because renting can be a hassle you, maybe the landlord is going to sell your property and you have to find a new place and can I put a picture up and there's so many variables with renting that when you have your own home you know you can do you can paint any color you want you can punch a hole and, in the wall and leave yeah, it <laughs> yeah so it's just and then you know that you have a place to live so that's always good absolutely hope this helps if you have any other questions reach out to us Melissa Kelsch and Nate Hampton